Greetings, Lakeview Church. My name is Tom Glass, and I'm one of the elders there. And I have the opportunity to share a few thoughts this week with you. Um, I'd just like to start out by by reading John chapter 13, verses 34 and 35. A new commandment I give you, that you love one another, even as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this, all men will know that you are my disciples, if you have love one for another. I guess God has placed it on my heart uh, the last several weeks about how well we as Christians and believers love one another. And one of the areas that seems to have come up that's created a division has been with the the controversy about whether we, we should have to wear the face mask or not have to wear the face masks. And I realize that in Dane County, uh, we have to wear the face masks anytime we're inside and when we're at church. So that's not a physical issue, but it's still a mental and emotional issue. Um, so I, I would just like to share some things with you. I have a pastor friend, uh, his name is Dale Pierce, and he's the pastor of an evangelical free church in Colorado. And Dale posted a, a, a Facebook post just about a week ago, and he had some things to say, and then he also also uh, posted an article, which both of these really spoke to my heart. So if I could share just a little bit of that with you right now. Dale says, Can followers of Jesus remember that he gave up his rights to serve others? So if I have to give up my rights and wear a mask, is it possible I'm being more like Jesus in that moment? Is it possible that Christians are making this a divisive area? If we are divisive, causing division is one of the worst actions or attitudes a Christian can do or have. Please, followers of Jesus, be gracious and promote unity in our churches and communities. And then he posted an article by a lady named Jennifer Garrett Richmond. And I'd just like to share a couple of thoughts from that because these were really good. She says, Don't weaponize God's word against your brothers and sisters in Christ. The word of God is the sword of the Spirit, a weapon against the evil one, so stab away at him. Get on your knees first, and then stand on your feet, girded with truth and covered in righteousness, not self-righteousness and disdain. Get ready with the gospel of peace, not your agenda or personal opinion. Get that shield of faith up, because the evil one is your enemy, not your masked or unmasked neighbor. Aim your sword at Satan as you bow to him in prayer. And don't yah but me as you're reading this with all the articles you've read and all the sources you know. Stop. Quit dividing the church. Be at peace and know your enemy. He's playing us, playing us against one another, and honestly, we're playing right into his into his hands. Use God's word, please do. Use it, though, to keep humble and pray for forgiveness. Read the word and know the will of God. Pray for healing in the church, unity among God's people, clarity about the true enemy, and faith in the true victor. Jesus Christ. We've got this, but not if we keep going at one another. And then I would just like to end with a verse from Ephesians 6.12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, and against the spiritual forces of evil in heavenly places. So as I, as I leave you, I would just like to say, brothers and sisters, let's put aside the, these petty differences and let's love one another. I'd just like to pray. Father, I thank you for the opportunity to, to speak to my brothers and sisters today. Father, I pray that you, would, that you would just impress on each one of us the importance of loving each other and the importance of, of unity in the Spirit. Father, I pray that you would also enforce in, in each of our hearts the, the importance of the, the enemy that we're fighting against and that we are not to be fighting against each other but fighting against the devil. Father, I pray that you would raise us up in prayer to, as prayer warriors to be able to fight against the enemy as we go through these very difficult times. I ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen.